This week on NSFW, we reveal lost spoilers. We are joined by Brett the Amtracker Roundsville. And most importantly, we play Blitz Quiz. It's coming up right now. Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for NSFW is brought to you by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is NSFW from February 3rd, 2010. This is it. Back from the dead. We were dead on arrival, but now we're back in instantly no time at all. It's NSFW, the new show full of wind. I am your host, Brian Brushwood, and I am joined by the inimitable, the master of the impossible. He's a wizard and a magician and a shaman and a shamus. His name is Justin Robert Young, and he's giving me a very disturbing look. I don't know if he's totally frozen or if he wants me to think he's frozen. Okay, no, he's clearly giving me the scary eyes. What's up, Justin Robert Young? Oh, I'm so excited, Brian. We have a very, very cool show for everybody tonight. And uh, listen, we're going to try to be everything to everyone. And the best way we thought to do that is have everybody in the world involved in this show. Yeah, and we weren't kidding. You know what? We just tweeted out. We're online with all of America. And that is right, because you guys are going to be our special guest. But the specialist of all of our special guests is the Amtrekker himself, Mr. Brett Rounceville, a.k.a. Amtreculus Prime. What is going on, Brett? Lots of stuff. Most importantly, I intend to win an awesome game tonight. Oh, so you're throwing down the smack right at the beginning. You must be referring how to, I do it. to our special game, which I don't know if we're ready to tease yet. Speaking of ready to tease, you've been working on like some kind of top secret project forever. And you and every time you come on, you tease at it, you hint at it, you're like, oh no, it's gonna be amazing. You'll blow your brains out and you'll die alone and sad. And it's like, this sounds awesome. And then we ask you, and then you won't say anything. So can you spill it? No, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Oh, I hate you so much, Brett. Is it related to the campaign for us to get podcast of the year? Yes. In a way, no, not at all. <laughs> no, totally not. So you're saying that you contracting the disease, the autoimmune uh, efficiency. <laughs> okay, all right. Is that no. out? That's, <laughs> that's out, right? <laughs> all right, that's enough. I can categorically guarantee that sexually transmitted diseases are in no way affiliated with my super sexually. secret project. Necessarily sexually, come on. Oh, no, breakfast. look, forget it, dude. You lost me. There's no there's no sexiness to it. What's the freaking point? Uh, you know what? Let's do this. <laughs> no uh, let's get all. one thing out of the way. At the time that we're recording this right now, little bit of a scheduling snafu. We made a call over to ABC. We thought we had things all worked out. We explained, listen, we are always on at Tuesdays at 10 Eastern. We never, ever pick another time slot. And unfortunately, they're doing some kind of big premiere. I guess some show is on tonight. Justin, do you know anything about that? Your Lost is on, Brian. And a lot of kids enjoy the Lost show. They go and they watch their Kates and their Sawyers. And they run around the beach and they make love. And, and their sons and, you of know, bitches. Fight, lie to each other. It's just a big popular show with the kids these days. That's what I hear. That, that's what, that's what yeah. the kids say about the show is exactly what you just told me. <laughs> but the important thing is, is that we're up against it, but we don't want you guys to miss it. It's a little bit like when you're watching a, a football game is on. You know, you're not watching it, but you want to know what's going on. And so we actually yeah. have, we've got, we've been getting regular reports from somebody who's there live on the scene watching Lost as it happens. And I think we should go ahead and bring people up to date with exactly what's going on with Lost. Can you, can you bring us up to speed here, Justin? Yes, uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we would now would like to introduce our new bit, Lost Spoilers. Why did you have to call it a bit? This is real. No, no, no. Bits just means things we do on the show. Oh, right. Calm gotcha. down. Gotcha. Okay. No. Uh, yeah. We are uh, bringing you reports live from our Lost Boy correspondent. He is a young, uh, precocious lad by the name of Augie Incredible, and he's going to be giving us things that are happening on the Lost show as we're on Wait, hold, hold on. NSFW. It's, his name is Augie Incredible? Augie Incredible, the Lost Boy. Well, I mean, isn't that, I mean, isn't that kind of an unusual name for for no, someone to have? Christian name? Yes, he was. I, he was. He was given that name. I mean, no, fact, nobody but me thinks that's a little bit unusual that his name is Augie. Was christened with the name Mike Johnson, but oh. Augie Incredible is what uh, he was. Uh, he was birthed. With. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. All right. Well, and, and the first report from Augie, what do we got, sir? Wait, this is actually just coming in right now. Uh, hot on the presses. Something that's happening on Lost right now. Um, Jack's tattoos begin disappearing and he worries that he's slowly aging backwards into earlier and earlier versions of himself. 
he asks Kate if she could feel romantic love for a baby if the baby were a 30-something pill addict with a medical license. But Sawyer answers before she can answer. <laughs> there dum, it is. Dum, dum. That's what you're missing right now on Lost. We got you up to date. Can Don't I worry ask, about it. Yes, go ahead. You can ask anything. What, what time zone is that in? And is there a chance that that won't happen in the Pacific time zone? Uh, you know what? They make programming decisions all the time. We, I'm not responsible for their programming, man. Don't talk to me that way. You know what I am responsible for is for the greatest contest in the history of America. Three days ago, we challenged all of America to write us at NSFW show at gmail.com and tell us that, yes, I will stand up and stand true and be counted and participate in the greatest contest. How does that go, Justin? Well, it's a little contest that we have co-opted by the name of Blitz Quiz in which the answers come to you. Oh, wait, that's good. That's good. Did You, you pre-wrote that, didn't you? <laughs> Yeah, no, I actually didn't. Oh, wow. and I was supposed to say questions, but I said answers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, the answers do the come to you. questions might make a little more sense, but who am I? <laughs> hopefully, hopefully just the, the answers do come to you. But here's the thing. Here's what shocked us. We put together a little, a little dorky video on YouTube saying, "Hey, give us your phone number. We'll call you. You're going to be the contestants on the show. Guess how many people wrote us, Brett? Fifty-nine. No, wait, yes, no, sixty-two. <laughs> 59. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> we got a ton of people from all over, not only America, but uh, but America's close cousin, uh, Canada, Canada. And uh, we couldn't be happier. We're just going to start calling people randomly. But everyone wants to know, what are the rules of the game? Whose team am I on? What am I playing for? What are the point values? How does the game work? Don't worry about any of that. We got that all worked out because let's go to our <laughs> Lord Quizmaster. Let us go to Lord Quizmaster. Justin Robert Young. <laughs> Can you explain to us this game, sir? Yes, Brian. Uh, the rules of Blitz Quiz are simple. You will be dipping into two teams. One uh, will be headed by Brian. One will be headed by Am Trekker. We are going to call you and ask you a question. Multiple choice or either or, depending on which uh, which uh, you know segment we're on. Uh, the winner at the end of the day gets eternal glory and uh, really the favors of their team captain, either Brett uh, M. Track or Roundsville or Brian Brooks. You know what I'll do is I'll call and leave you a voicemail message saying whatever you want. I'll, I'll put your, your – we'll co-opt that from what, – what's that? Uh, wait, wait, don't tell me. Stop, stop. I'm trying to get the answer. Stop bothering. <laughs> yeah, stop, stop. This is a show we like to call Stop, Stop. Yeah. I'm trying to get the answer. All right. Now, here's the deal. You're we got to really pick annoying. teams here. Stop it. Stop it. Stop asking me. I'm going to think of it in like five seconds. Shut up. Robert that's Siegel. that's the full that's the full name of the game. That's the name of the show. Yeah. I see. A lot of people, a lot of people cut that. Kind of convoluted. <laughs> okay. Well, here's the thing. It doesn't we split really roll up, off the tongue. We split them up into two teams and we uh, flipped a coin backstage and we've decided that Brian will be in charge of team... Camp Eagle Claw. So I am the camp counselor for Camp Eagle Claw. So Camp Eagle Claw is going to take it to the, what's the name of this game, by the way? Uh, well, Brian, it's a little game called Blitz Quiz. There we go. That's a very, gra <laughs> that's a graphic I'm very proud of with Blitz Quiz. So it's Camp Eagle Claw versus our old nemesis, the old rivalry back to rear its ugly head. It's Camp Eagle Claw versus... Nick Nolte's mugshot. And, of course, helming Nick Nolte's mugshot is none other than Brett Rounceville. You're going to run team Nick Nolte's mugshot. I'm going to run team Camp Eagle Claw. Fair enough? Fair. More than fair. I am taking Nick Nolte's mugshot all the way to the <laughs> top, baby. Y'all are going down. All right. This is it. It is Camp Eagle Claw versus Nick Nolte's mugshot. Who goes first? Quizmaster <laughs> Justin Robert Young. Nick Nolte's mugshot really doesn't roll off the tongue either. <laughs> Nick Nolte's mugshot. It's like uh, if uh, Camp She Sells Seashells were playing against <laughs> Nick Nolte's mugshot, then maybe I'd have a better chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seemed Peter Piper picked a brick of pimple peppers. <laughs> I thought names were good names. I thought that I thought we did a good well job with them. T-shirt. All right, so look, uh, I tell you what, I'll go first. Uh, no, actually, you go first. Uh, how about you, Brett? What do you want? What do you want first? You get to pick oh. anyone you want. Do we get to hear the answer? No, or the question rather. No, because you, you just got to pick. You got to pick who your avatar is. You, we, you and I don't fight oh. one on one, right? This is like. Right. Um, you know, this is like to determine our guilt or innocence. We choose a champion to fight on our behalf. And then the greater of the two people emerges victorious, right? 
It's in so history. So there's no gamesmanship here. Like if we're talking about Hollywood trivia, I can't go for uh, some L.A. aficionado in the. I see the, some somebody in in you know, uh, America Junior, as you labeled them. I believe I took me a while right. to figure out. You went through, labeled all these, and you labeled them by yeah. region. And for Canada, you uh -huh. labeled America Junior, which is great way to engender yourself to the audience. But that was not my decision. That was Brett Routzville's. <laughs> What would you call it? I I fail to see. I would call it, call it the lovely land of the way. north, full of NSFW fans. So look, pick yourself, pick yourself a winner. Which of these fine people am I okay. going to call randomly and put on the hot seat in order to participate Don't in our blitz quiz? Our blitz quiz. What do you got? You know what? Fact: There is no way that Aaron Dunn will ever let me down on his birthday or Aaron, her birthday. Aaron Aaron Dunn or Aaron Bernstein. There's an Aaron Bernstein. Aaron Dunn. Dunn. Why would I will Nora even start Dunn, for you, Mr. Brushwood. SNL, Aaron Dunn, an East Coaster. Dunn. All right, D-U-N-N. -N. Well, see, I'm not yep. finding it. I'm searching for it. Yeah, all right, how about you just pick a number between 1 and 62? <laughs> uh, complicated, Brett Ronsville. <laughs> well, he's picking the name, and I could call that person. It's just that uh, the problem is he's picking somebody who's not on the freaking list. I'm looking no. at the I'm looking at the e Gmail right here. E-R-I-N space D-U-N-N-E. It's very clearly oh, oh, there. Aaron about... Oh, I see, I see. That's a girl's name. I was doing A-A-R-O-N. That's what was messing yeah. me. Okay, there we go. So you're getting a girl. And we're going to make it happen. And you see, I see what you're talking about. You did put a star on it. I'm a bad, bad person. I apologize. So <laughs> let's do this. I'm going to call them. We're going to call Erin Dunn. And with no mercy. As soon as she gets on the line, it's go time. She has to go as soon as phone's ringing. Phone's ringing, dude. And we go. Jury's quest, quest master, right? Suspense is killing. Right. Jury. Well. The <laughs> go. Hello, is Erin there? Yes. All right, Aaron, uh, here's your question. Blank was the top winner at the Grammy Awards on Sunday, taking home six awards. Was it Taylor Swift, Lady Gaga, Beyonce, or the Kings of Leon? That would have to be Don't let me a. down, Aaron. He says A. A would be Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh! Bad news for Nick Nolte's mugshot. Wow, already oh. off to a bad start. That's this is by it. By the way, for one point, one point now lost. Negative one is Nick Nolte's mugshot. Oh, you you punish for what? lost answers, for wrong we answers. We do. So high score is presumably zero? Like, we could never score better than zero no, in this game. I am beating, like, no, because you failed. Your avatar failed, and you have to I live in I understand that I'm in negative one and that you're beating me at zero in game. I cannot have a better score than negative one? No, of course you could get better. You just got to start having your people get them right, yeah. all right? How about you have them not completely implode on the runway, genius? Yeah. <laughs> all right, all listen. right, Aaron. I Here's tried to thing. pass you a bone on account of your birthday, and you totally let me down. Well, I tell you what. That's you know who's not going Mr. to let nice me guy. down is Luke from uh, one of the Carolinas here. I think it's North Carolina. We're going to try calling him and see what happens. Uh, he actually sent a picture of his sister, and his sister looks suspiciously like... Uh, Frodo Baggins oh, picture. Oh, Frodo Baggins girl. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know that we had family that watched the show. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's saying invalid phone number. Let me see if I can get it to. There we go. I'm gonna try one more time, and hopefully, it's up to Luke. Luke, you got to bring it for me. Yes. Okay. Worth one point. Do we get to heckle? Because Luke, you got nothing. Right. You got no, no, nothing. No, hey, no, shush! Nothing. It's my turn. Really it's my turn. It's my go time. Here we go. Wait for it. Can you picture they're at dinner and like. Oh, wait, it, hey, is that Luke? Blitz quiz. Blitz quiz. Luke, here's your question for one point. Blank is recalling 2.3 million vehicles due to an issue with their accelerator paddles. Is it A, Honda, B, Toyota, C, Ford, or D, Saturn? Luke, do not mess this up. It's the Toyota. 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 Yeah. And this is the Mundo. Hey! And who's in the lead already? It's Team Camp Eagle Claw. Yeah! No. All right, look, you got a chance to come back, Brad, but you better make it happen fast. And gozies. Who's well, your well, avatar? Right, hold on, Nick hold on, Nolte hold on, hold on. Ryan, Ryan, what? Brett, what? Brett, what? Brett, wait a minute. What? We're getting another lost spoiler alert. This just coming in, 
hot oh, off good. the I'm press so from our lost boy, Augie Incredible. Okay. Um, He says, Ben drops hints that the events spanning from the wreck of Oceanic Flight 815 up through the alternate timeline that they are all part of is an elaborate Dharma Island timeshare sales pitch. He then makes enticing but cryptic allusions to centralized air. <laughs> See, from not- my cold dead... <laughs> did you, did you just, that was part of the pitch, apparently. From my cold dead hand to illustrate, <laughs> you will take uh, this the centralized from air. My cold dead fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I this is my prediction that I'm throwing down right now. If this is the news from the premiere, we're gonna find out around mid season that the smoke monster is the Dharma Initiative's version of the barefoot air conditioner. <laughs> what is a barefoot air conditioner? What What are you talking about? The, the barefoot barefoot plumbers and barefoot air AC guys. Do you guys not have those in the rest of the country? No, no, something no. That I'm Plus, this is out. a worldwide podcast, I'll have you know. Our fans in Australia are going to be very upset that wait, you're wait, making wait, that Way to play international, kiddo. Uh, hey, just oh, by the way, man. everybody in the chat room right now, we're like, sucks listening to audio. I don't know how to, when to unmute if the spoiler's over. Don't worry so much. Yeah, All right, guys, I, seriously, have you not? Are you really unmuting? Are you muting when we? When we okay, look. All right, all right. All this, all, you're only hurting yourself. All right, because it's better when you know the spoilers. Because we picked the right spoilers. All right, Brett, go pick yourself a winner. Okay. So far, you. All right, I'm lots. going. Go. I'm going deep into the heart of America Junior with Mark Anderson. Mark Anderson. Okay, there we go. I got it right here. We're going to give him a call. We get Mark Anderson from Toronto, Canada in Ontario, which uh, I'm told that's uh, somewhere north of here. And we're going to bring him on the line and it's on. Wait for it. Do it, Mark. Do it. This is our first international call, isn't it? Or no, we already called Canada once. Okay, good. Here they are. Here they are. Wait for it. Mark. Hello? Squares. Mark, this is your Blitz Quiz question for one point. Sure, you come from a filthy, flea-bitten, second-rate nation, but whoa, please whoa, whoa, whoa. make the great white North proud. If, if you answer it, Brian, That's I'm the quiz my master. Teammate. I'm That's the my quiz teammate. master. <laughs> quiz master, quiz douche master. Question Are you number kidding three. Me? Author blank died this week. Was it Terry Pratchett, Kurt Vonnegut, Malcolm Gladwell, or J. D. Salinger? J.D. Salinger. All right, come on, though. All right. All right. Welcome back to zero, Brett. How does it feel? You feel like you, you've How been does born it feel again? To be a douche in league with the douche master general over there asking questions and, and shaming my fellow <laughs> my fellow Nick Nolte mugshotians. <laughs> Is that what people from your land are called? Or Nick, Nick Nolte mugshotians? <laughs> By the way, why don't you go Fact. ahead? Why don't you go ahead and make your team proud there, Brett? Go ahead and lean forward and give give them a rousing for those, pep for talk. For those who for those who can't see, Brett is now fitting himself into a cutout of the Nick Nolte mugshot. <laughs> go ahead and give him- you, he looks ruggedly handsome. Oh man, look at that! He's looking pretty good, Mark. Here. Mark my words. Mark <laughs> Anderson is the man that we all need to look up to tonight. <laughs> this is the man that you should be modeling yourselves after, Nick Nolte's Mukjatians. <laughs> you need to focus and bring this home. Tear it from the talons of Camp Eagle Claw and run with our victory. <laughs> what, a, what I love. That, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 just waiting, I'm just waiting for it to end with. sounds like. But we are Mugshot! <laughs> what I love is that is that his message was Mark. Mark this well, Mark. Mark is our market <laughs> Mark most. Oh, a, a sonnet like coupling from Brady Roundsville. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kick it east coast. We're gonna go back to the Commonwealth of Virginia. I'm gonna call in Jack Webster because I think he's got the goods to save my team because you know, you're at zero, but you're sort of nipping at the heels. I like, I like. Please my- enjoy the music <laughs> while your party is reached. What the heck? <laughs> Boo! He gave us, he gave us a freaking goop. Wait, hey, who is this? Jack Webster. Jack, what is up with that? When, when are you giving us a, oh, you and your weird, okay, sorry. <laughs> to understand us on the phone! <laughs> Jack Webster, you are from Virginia, so please ready your tobacco-stained fingers for this question. <laughs> Blank! Okay. Maintain your number one ranking with a win at the Australian Open on Saturday. 
Venus Williams, Justine Hanin, <laughs> Serena Williams, or Nadia Petrova. Don't panic. Sorry, repeat the question. No. <laughs> oh, he panicked. It Are was... you panicking? What? No. Uh, do we the answer is we're gonna C, panic? Serena Williams. C? Correct the moon. Oh! oh! He was yes! fine time Where's to Google. Daddy? Where's yes! Daddy? That's the point I'll get there. Oh, freaking gorgeous. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now we're way in the lead, oh. dude. Two to zero? What? What's it? You got nothing. You literally have nothing. <laughs> what, look at it your point It is so file. on, Brushwood. It is so on. All right, bring it. Pick your pick your poison. And by poison, I mean next person is going to ruin your chance at winning. This is how we do it West Coast style. Me and Marvin's. Marvin's. <laughs> uh, before you make the call, Brian, I would just like to inform you uh -oh. that as per game rules, yes. this question is a swapsies. Oh, what, what does that mean? What is a swapsies? Swapsies, as we all know, is if Brett's uh, Brett's a, a representative here gets the question correct. You guys swap scores as per the swap C rules. No, we never talked about that. What the hell? You don't. Yes. Hey There's, yeah, it's a, listen, uh, if what it weren't the rules is... to this game, then what is this tattoo that I've had since the, my, the, my birth? Why does it say it there? I, I okay? can't read it. What does it say? You'll have to read it for <laughs> it me. It says swapsies on question four. <laughs> oh, my God. You know what's weird is how weird for you to go your whole life with a tattoo that says there's swapsies on question four and never know what it means and See? then be in the middle of co-hosting a show on the Twit Network and all of a sudden all the everything just clicks into place. What's that? That's questions <laughs> of destiny. Faith versus science? Who needs to watch Lost? We have all these twists and turns for you here on NSFW. All right, talking about twists and turns, we're going to call... His, his Swapsies tattoo is what I would love to have happen to Keck 7 someday. Oh, my God. That would be awesome. That's that's an old school. Sense. That's an old school thing. Hey, by the way, uh, this we got a picture of Marvin's sister here. He sent in a picture of his <laughs> sister as per, as hey per the request. All right. Hey, Marvin, are you here? Marvin? Oh, no, okay. Man, I thought, I thought I was off to something. It was messing me up. We ought to, we ought to have something to fill the time. Wait. Hello. <laughs> Go, Marvin. This is a Swapsies question, so please be your aim, be true. President Obama called for a temporary freeze in blank spending. Was it A, military, B, mandatory non-military, C, discretionary non-military, or D, Medicare? Answer quickly. Quick. Is, Marvin? Quick. This is the opposite of quick. What? what? You got this, Marvin. Wait. Pick uh, one. What is it? Whoa. Come on. Oh. Marvin's. Marvin, answer. Not military. It's he says non-military. Was that even a choice? No. You want to know what? Because we're not going to wait until he can Google the answer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Get out of here, Marvin. No. You're Who right. This man. No. Yeah, dude. That's the problem. You got to be super You've fast. You shamed mugshotians the world over, Marvin. <laughs> Here's the thing, folks. You think that we're idiots and you can just sit around, oh, you're an internet show, so we're going to call you so I can Google it up or wait for the chat room to tell me what the answer is. No, that is not the Blitz Quiz way, and I did not get tattooed as an infant so you could disgrace my family with games. <laughs> which, by the way, which, by the way, apparently chat room's pointing out that you were tattooed with the wrong number because that was question five. We're now on question <laughs> six now. So, so you missed the, so the swapsies. So you missed your chance to swapsie on that one. All right, so I, I mean, can, I pick, can I pick a chance? Champion, a hero, somebody to make it happen yes, for me. Yes. And by the way, all point values have doubled now. All point values have doubled. Thank goodness. I'm ready to just run away with so this. So does that double the negatives too? Does he have a chance to go down? Would you zero stop on this questioning question? the quiz master? Yes. yes I that just is in fact know. right. This is a major question. All right. Look, I've got somebody to call, and this is somebody who he's a friend of the show. Never let us down. Always been there when we needed him. Pretty sure he helped me bury a body once in Mexico. We're going to call Robert right here in Austin, Texas. He's going to make stuff happen for us. Let's see. There we go. Bring it, Robert. Wait for it. And continuing to wait for it. Robert, this is a question 
by pro you serve as a proxy for Camp Tiger Claw. Your question is is, is hey, the it's, it's, it's Eagle Claw. Eagle Claw. Camp Eagle Claw. Like I said, <laughs> idiot. <laughs> China is criticizing the United States for selling weapons to blank. Tibet, Japan, North Korea, or Taiwan. I'm sorry, I missed that entire first part because of the laugh. Oh, dude. You you oh, know you don't letting you Google. No, no, no. You have to choose <laughs> yeah, No, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm I won't Google. Just repeat the question. No, I, I didn't even hear it. I heard the answer. No. But... Second part. Choose between second part. There's yeah, so there's, there's said the no repeats. You gotta go. You gotta go. Do you let me down, Robert? Um, I, I didn't hear the question. You I, answer I, the question. <laughs> answer the question you didn't hear. Go. Um, Japan. Mm. What is wrong with your face? <laughs> you failed me. Get out of here, Robert. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, yes. Come I, down to my level. And I feel down. bad. I feel, wait, are we both at zero now? Are we both at you zero? You are both at zero. It is a zero, zero game. Now, let me just point out that this was a failure of management. Okay? You guys need to be at your respective ends, not giggling <laughs> while I'm berating the people on the phone. Uh, so they can uh, properly hear their question. All right, that's that's true. That is true. Chat room wants to point out that Amtrekker technically <coughs> has negative one. That's what they're claiming. I don't uh, know. No, technically, no, 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 technically, was the, not a point. Oh yeah, Swapsies was not a point one. You're correct. You're correct. All right, look, I know what everyone in the chat room's thinking. They're wondering what's on TV, and I say we let them know. Oh my God, we are actually funny you mentioned that because we just got another lost spoiler update. Uh, this is apparently happening right now as Lost is airing on, on the East Coast. Our Lost Boy correspondent, Augie Incredible, uh, just writes to me, Faraday discovers a hidden sex research lab called the Anaconda Station full of Japanese language vomit porn starring himself. <laughs> bum, bum, bum. Wait, where's the thump? I didn't hear the thump at the end. From my co... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take away your soundboard if you can't even hit the right things. Where's your thump? It's going. No, nah, you you can't hardly hear it. Oh, boo this man. Oh, okay. The guy who told me the entire time, turn it, turn it down, turn it down. He's blasting the soundboard. He's blasting the soundboard, man. By the way, real quick, I actually, uh, unfortunately, nobody got it. I had a show last week at Northern Arizona University on Friday night. And like, uh, there's some bit where I, I hold up three different books and I have, have you read this one? Have you read this one? Have you read this one? The guy hadn't read any any of the three. And I, and I just turned and I just pointed. I said, boo this man. And the whole audience uh, erupted into booing, not quite realizing that I was referencing this entire this exact show this your bit in fact is what i was trying to say justin uh, i mean it's, it's something some one of the many things i ripped off from dave Chappelle. yes well good i'm glad we got that going for us all right whose turn is this? is it my turn can we i uh, <laughs> know no, no, you just uh your team made just a proverbially poo the bed and right. uh now brett gets to select all right a, brett uh, champion now you got a chance to make things right <laughs> totally okay I'm going to a man with the total package, Rick Foster, not only a longtime friend of the show, but he also sent in sister pics, and he's from none other than Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Oh, my God. Wow, he sure did. Uh, hang on. First, let me go ahead and grab his phone number. We'll go ahead and scroll this down, and then let's uh, let's take a look at his sister, which uh, <laughs> it was very thoughtful of him to uh, to post such photos. <laughs> I'm hey, having girl, a hard time. nice in Wisconsin. I, I, I'm having a hard also, time. Also, I'm pretty sure I have a talk in Chippewa Falls in, uh, tomorrow. No kidding. Are you in Chippewa Falls? Mm -hmm. Yet. No. Oh, no, no, the the girl, a, the girl was attractive, so I was insinuating that I, I would see. drop everything to go to Chippewa Falls. <laughs> it's okay. I'll be over here I see, I see. Hey, could you turn down the soundboard? It's real loud now. <laughs> Hello. Oh, <laughs> hang on. Hold on. The English Tiger Sponsor Fans! Wisconsin is a state filled with boring fat people. Your question is as follows. <laughs> Quarterback Blank was named MVP of Sunday's Pro Bowl. Was it A, Drew Brees, B, Matt Schaub, C, Peyton Manning, or D, Brett Favre? Answer uh, quickly. That What's that? Answer. Answer. B. B. B would be Matt Schaub, and that answer is... Correct the mundo. Oh, my God. Yeah. 
Oh, freaking doll. Without the swamp seas, doll, I'm nothing. Doll, I can't stand you, Brett Thank you, Mr. Foster. I hate you so much. First, you got a big secret project you won't tell anyone about. Second, you beat me at my own game that we made up two days ago. Oh, <laughs> oh but you do sound oh, like a robot. Yeah. Oh. Secret, secret. He's got a secret. He is the modern man. Hey, by the way, we did a uh, we did a killer, killer 100th episode of Scam School Party at Encore Karaoke Lounge, and I got rickrolled by myself. And it turns out <clears throat> that when you spend three days recording in, a di in dive bars and you have to shout the entire time, your vocal range is not so good. And I don't know how much of me singing karaoke they're going to put, you know, and when it's your show and they hand you a mic <laughs> and they're like, hey, it's, it's you know, you're being rickrolled, so sing the song. You don't have time to say, well, I'm sorry, guys, it's a little bit outside of my range. And uh, like I, I have the tonal capability to hear how off my pitch is. Unfortunately, my voice is too ragged out to correct for it. So if you would do me a favor and not air any of this, that would be great. Three hours later, it was up on Facebook, and I'm sure it'll be everywhere in no time. Very unhappy about that. So look for that, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, I've seen it. Have you already? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Uh, our, our good friend, uh, Ryan I Connolly, who, by the way, loves all races and creeds. Um, he put it up on his uh, Twitter. <laughs> that is true. Uh, oh, he put it on Twitter. Oh, I hate you, Ryan. <laughs> and by I hate you, I mean I deserve that very much. I'm going to pick somebody who is like one of the first two or three people to enter in. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to bust out Zach Holder, who is the very first person to enter his name to participate. Uh, uh, and by the way, by yes. the way, uh, this um, round right now yeah, yeah. begins name a number. What? Oh, what? what does that mean? What? What is that? You'll see. You'll see. Is it on a tattoo? What the what? The what? I don't know. I'm so I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Quiz. Zach Holder, your name is indicative of an annoying era in American history. Please name a number. Any number. Twelve. Twelve. This is a twelve-point question. Whoa! Whoa! Excerpts. Excerpts of a soon to be released tell all what? book paint an unflattering picture of former presidential candidate blank. Is it A, Hillary Clinton, B, John McCain, C, John Edwards, or D, Mitt Romney? Answer as quick as you possibly can. Oh, I'm going to go with uh, Mitt Romney. What is can wrong I, with your I, face? I oh, no. Zach, you let me down. Oh, yeah. I hate Arkansas oh, now. Oh, oh, I can hear Queen playing in my head right now. Yeah, and if <laughs> only, this is amazing. If only <laughs> we are totally the champions. <laughs> it's like we have to. We don't own the rights to any of those songs. So we just have to describe <laughs> what it must be like to imagine you hear Queen <laughs> singing. By the way, if there's anybody with a band who watches NSFW, I would love just generic versions of popular songs. Oh my like, god. This is great. No, let's do this. Let's, let's, and this Steve is. Steve won the contest, my buddies. <laughs> yeah, nah, 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 nah. All right, and, and, but you'd have to slightly change the, uh, the, you know, it could be just poorly sung as well. I mean, as long as yeah. it's not on key, I think, I think it, it, that's able to work. That is a great idea. That is the big mission for the chat room is get us a bunch of different, like some that would be like happy days are here or, and others that are like you win or you're a failure or whatever. I don't know. All right, yep. Brett, what are you going <laughs> to yeah. do with your big fat said. giant 12 point lead? Oh, this is awesome. I'm so excited. You know who holds on to the leads really well, who? really well, who uh, people in the middle of the country, people like, for instance, Jonathan Perez, in Hooten, Michigan. All right. Well, I'm looking for. Did you star him? Is what I want to know, sir. Uh, I did now. You did. You just did, Mister. All right. Well, I'm looking for him. Is he on page one or page two? Oh, there we go. Jonathan Perez. Oh my gosh. Unfortunately, he put his phone number in letter format, which is great if I'm looking at a phone and have full use <laughs> of my brain. While I'm performing. Well, you don't have the keypad on the uh, Skype thing? Does well, no, I mean, I'd have to go in and... Indiv you know what? I'm going to try typing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. Let me see what happens if I hit call. Oh, my God. It translates it. It translates it into numbers. Genius. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yeah. By the way, this is hockey rules. 
Hockey, hockey rules? Yes. Oh. Quiz. Wooten, Michigan's finest. Please name me a city: New Jersey, Tampa Bay, Vancouver, or Minnesota. <laughs> New Jersey. New Jersey, unfortunately, has zero goals right now. So this question is for no point. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's perfect. Woo. I will ask it for you for pride anyway. <laughs> Ten Baptist missionaries from the United States were arrested under kidnapping charges for trying to take 33 children out of blank. Haiti, Mexico, Cuba, or Venezuela. Haiti. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Haiti. Correct the mundo. Doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, zero. Very good. Enjoy your zero <laughs> Doesn't points. Doesn't matter, but awesome. Whatever. Great hey, job, buddy. Good picking. I'm glad you enjoyed it. All right, so it's back to me, right? Finally, I can pick somebody who can win me some freaking points. No, no, no. You just went. No, that was Brett who just went. He picked the me. Michigan. He was pandering. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry, Brett. You are still leading two to two to nothing now. Two to nothing. 12. Wait, I thought I had 12. negative twelve. No, wait. What happened? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You did not. Uh, that was a 12-point question. So you have negative 12. So. Yeah, I've got negative 12. So take that. All right, you know what? I'm going to take it back to Austin. I, You know what? I got let down by the first person to join the contest. So hopefully I will not get let down by the last person to join the contest. Somebody who just sent in, literally in the last couple of minutes, uh, Becky Graves from, I believe, right here in Austin. We'll see. What? Another what? girl? I believe girls. Girls watch the show. We're a popular among Austin women who have the name of Becky. Hello. Squeeze. Becky, you are the only girl who has ever watched this show that is not dating or married to one of the hosts. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, this question is a break-even question. <laughs> <laughs> Please, listen very carefully. To much fanfare, Apple introduced its latest gadget, the blank. Was it iTab, iPad, iNote, or Tampod? Uh, that would be B, iPad. Correct the mojo. Oh, Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Uh, Finally, some sense and sensibility here in this freaking. Uh, wait a minute, uh, yeah, Bonnie actually just knocked on the door. She was very. She's not watching the show. She's not watching our show. She's watching Lost. I don't know what's going on, but she was very excited about it. Do we have oh anything? Oh my God! Wait a minute. Yeah. Speaking of Lost, I'm getting another uh, spoiler <laughs> in from Augie Incredible. Oh, fantastic! Uh, here we go. Uh, this. Uh, and this is just happening right now as the show winds to a close on the East Coast, the season premiere. Vincent emerges from the woods with an entire human arm in his mouth. <laughs> the cold dead hand is clutching a severed human finger with a Dharma ring on it. The ring is inscribed with the numbers 4, 8, 15, 16, 23, 4, or, yeah, 23, 42, and a single word. Boob gas. <laughs> <laughs> what if, what if, oh, okay. Well, that'll be mm, interesting. I bet that's actually being read upside down and it says sag boob. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, see, why do you got to reveal the twist at the end? All right, look, finally, we're even game. Finally, our skills have been evenly no, matched. No, 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 no. It is right now zero to two. Wait, no. Wait, we just won the evens question. What? You said no, that, no, no, no. Your score broke even. Brett's remains as it is. Wait, oh, broke even. That wait, what? Even means back to zero? Your score was a negative. Now it's a, now it's a zero. It's I level. See, I see. So back to two. zero is what it is. Oh. Got it. Got it. By the way, chat room would like to point out that boob gas upside down would be <laughs> sap poop. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy Cuse and Lindelof, I'll tell you what, they're television geniuses. They spin a web, and we just love getting out of it. Okay. We're just all along for the ride. All right, well, look, pick yourself a winner because, <laughs> I don't know. By the way, the, man, the answers are really coming in. 
<laughs> okay, I'm going to go with oh, someone from Team Amtrak, Amtrak or Austin's own Greg Spear. Greg Spear, can you star mm-hmm. him on the list there? And as done as, and done. Okay, sir. there we go. Greg Spear. Uh, it's Kyle, right? And he lives in San Marcos, Austin, Texas. We got a lot of local. I, I thought our show had a little bit of a bigger reach than this, but I guess we're kind of a local thing these days. That's fine with me. Bigger than America Junior? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Is that possible? Why you got to do that? Why you got to do that? I love America Junior. That's I know my you do. Favorite offspring of America. All right, oh. wait for it. What's up? <laughs> Mr. Spear, you have the name of a male porn star, and your question is as follows and worth 10 points. (laughs) President Barack Obama delivered his first State of the Union speech trying to address Americans' worries about joblessness in the economy. One of the most remarked on parts of the event was when the president criticized the Supreme Court's decision to allow companies and unions to spend freely in elections, which elicited apparent mouthed words of disapproval from one of the chief justices. Which one? Was it Anthony Kennedy, Clarence Thomas, John Roberts, or Sam the Man Alito? <laughs> uh, I'm just going to take a wild stab and say Clarence Thomas. I mean, Alito. Oh, oh good. Did he yeah. just try to say Bork? He tried to say Bork. He was means. just like, Clarence Thomas. I mean, Alito. I mean, Alito. I mean, oh. <sighs> Sorry, listen. The, the sacrosanct rules of Blitz Quiz are as follows. You can only answer once. That's, <laughs> that is true. It is written on the ancient scrolls upon which upon As every, someone extremely I irresponsibly really and very illegally on tattooed on my tramp stamp region when I was but a fetus. <laughs> Those are your the rules. Tra- uh, other people have actual tramp stamps. You have a list of rules for a horse sh- horse scrap game <laughs> on the internet. Is this the first time you slipped on the show? Brian? I'm sorry. I did. I actually, I caught myself. I did call, catch myself. I <laughs> I'm just shocked at this image, at this idea. We got Brian. Brian slipped up. <laughs> I cu- I stopped it. Take that cottage. I, I meant to say horse shizzle. Well, horse, horse, <laughs> horse, Rorschach is what I meant to say. Whose turn is it? What's the uh, score? It's my turn, right? It is negative ten to two. By right the way, now. can I point what? out the one bizarre one way that? Uh, look, look. I mean, Wait, don't get me wrong. I love the chat room, but it's so interesting the bizarre way they try to make things right. Like Zach writes us, aware that we're peeking in on the on the email right now. <laughs> he writes us saying, "Sorry for your loss. I couldn't hear the question." As a consolation prize, here's a pic of someone not related to me. <laughs> he says this an attractive that a, female. That's a fine last. And it's like I'm trying, I'm trying to keep on going with the show, and I'm just like, I don't for some reason this seems important to me. You know what? I'm gonna go with one more <laughs> last minute entry here. Am I still behind by two or or no? I'm only behind by one now. Uh wait, oh, was that Brett's? That was Brett's, and he missed. Yeah, that was Brett's. He missed. All right, so you are down by, uh, Brian, you are up. Brett is down by uh, negative (laughs) eight. What? (laughs) How much is that question worth? That was a 10-point question. I I, I missed (sighs) I missed the part where you said that, but I, I totally I missed that you. part too. Because I well, went I'm not sure it. I trust it. It was it's written on your stamp. I know. It's written on <laughs> I know, that was that right. one's right here. That's <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, dude. No region. nips. In fact, no the uh, areola is in the zero of the tin. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, look. I'm I'm up by eight, apparently, according to chat. By the way, this is a swapsies. A swapsies? Oh yeah. crap. So, so you're rooting against it. Yeah, do swap. I don't know your name and therefore I can't make a witty comment about it. (laughs) The surprising run of the New York Jets toward the Super Bowl was stopped by the Indianapolis Colts who trounced the underdog team 30 to 17 to win the NFC title. I say it's AFC, idiot question writers. One of the stars of the game was a Haitian American who raised the Haitian flag to honor his family and friends who still live there in wake of the recent earthquake. His name is Jean Prevost. Pierre Garçon, Marcel Lafontaine, Antoine Delon. And this I'm is a. Go with <laughs> 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 that racist. Wow, is that racist? <laughs> Is I right? What is wrong with <laughs> <laughs> Was, Was I, I right? right? <laughs> <laughs> 
But, but, that actually worked out really well for Camp Eagle Claw, though, didn't it? Yeah, if you got it right, we would have swapped and he would have had my negative 10. That's right. right. That's or right. Whatever. See, I think he threw it because oh. we, we're ahead, but that was a swap seat. I actually, I'll tell you what, I need to consult the bylaws, but I think there is a penalty for racism. <laughs> like, come on. Wait, <laughs> there is a racist penalty. Why is that racist? That's not racist at all. You just said, oh, doctor. Do I have to explain it? I, I Do guess, I have to get us kicked guess, off the Twit Network for explaining it? All right. Well, forget <laughs> All right, forget it. Okay. Look, so here's a question, though. What does it break down for the rules? Because mm -hmm. it was a swap seat, but we fa we failed it. We didn't get it. So the swap seas does not happen. That's right. So I think he threw it. I think he tried to. Uh, <laughs> swap seas doesn't happen, Brian. <laughs> I love, by the way, I put up the uh, cutout of Nick Nolte's mugshot here. Can you give some words of encouragement to the now flagging mugshotians that, uh, that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, hell, mugshotians. I don't know why you can't get a goddamn one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Nick Nolte. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brett, pick your poison. Come on, dude. I'm, I'm okay. Okay, you. mug shotters. It's time to get this together. Oh, you know what, John Vogel, for sharing the last name of one of my very best friends, you're at bat. You better star him. Is he starred on there? He's starred. Well, he is... done gotten got starred. He done he done dared get to got the starred. He's in the east. <laughs> oh man, this is persona fried. From the chat room. This is one of our long time. Is it now? Yeah. All of a sudden, Brett's oh, like, I'm love not. Love that guy. I'm not Let's so do this, Persona Fried. <laughs> Let's do this for Nick Nolte and mugshots around the world. <laughs> um, let me do this. Is Oh, you know what? It says Persona Fried is not a phone number. So I've, I've actually got to find his actual Skype to make this happen, and then I'll give him a call. It's amazing that you could do all this. Like, literally. His Skype is Persona Fried. Uh, yes. Well, I know. But now, like now I'm trying to call him now. And so we're going to do <laughs> that. And it says he's not in my. Oh, are we on? Uh, are you there, buddy? Yes. OK. <laughs> Persona Fried, you are playing by basketball rules. Name one of these cities. Cleveland, Indiana, Orlando, New Jersey or Chicago. I'll go with Chicago. Chicago currently has 82 points, oh, which is God. what you will be playing for in this question. Let's oh do God. this, Persona Fried. Okay. I hate Let's you. Tragedy struck the family of former Olympic skater Nancy Kerrigan when her father, Daniel, died after an apparent <laughs> altercation with one of her brothers. He was charged with assault. What did the police say the brother, Mark Kerrigan, told them had sparked the alleged fight? Did Mark Kerrigan kicked down the front door after returning from a bar, that Daniel Kerrigan refused to let his son use the phone, that Mark Kerrigan had damaged his father's car, or that Mark Kerrigan had sworn at his own mother. Answer very quickly. I'm going to say B, he refused to let him use a phone. You're doing the full on. I I'll like hail Nick Nolte's mugshot. <laughs> Thank you, Persona Fry. I love the fact that he does this. He's doing the Kermit the Frog Muppet dance. The the, the <laughs> hands in the air back and forth. <laughs> and now wait a minute. Who Hold could on, more minute. purposely or perfectly anthropomorphize enjoyment oh. as a Nick Nolte's mugshotian than Kermit the Frog himself? Oh, you guys are kidding oh. me. There's no, there's no way. How can I Brian? Hold on. We are getting another lost spoiler. This is live from uh, Augie Incredible. He's Good, watching. I need we are now in the final minutes of uh, of, of the Lost the premiere. Need to think uh, and about here something we go. else. Uh, Jack's dad is actually Jack's future son from an alternate reality where Australia won World World War II. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty huge. And I wow. Think I think that will go over well with the Australians. Because I'm rocked. 
I'm uh, rocked. I'm rocked to my very core right now. All right. Well, look, I've got it. Talk about rocked. You know what? I got <laughs> rocked between the legs. I got my rocks knocked by rock block <laughs> yeah, cock. Yeah, you did. You talking, totally got rocked between the again? legs. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I was talking about a game bird. Um, <laughs> let's do, <laughs> let's do, I'm going to pick somebody who's going to make it all right. Is there any way I can win? That's what I don't understand. You never know in Blitz Quiz. Ah, you're you killing never me. Know. All right, look. that's written in a part in a part of my body that I can't. Let me tell you something. You know what? <laughs> you know what? Bob, I give actually, you a hint. It rhymes with rock. I was born <laughs> not with a tattoo, but a uh, but a birthmark that actually it, it spells things out. And it says, "When in doubt, Mormons for the win." And I was a little bit confused as mm. to what that meant until right now, as I realized I could call Ashley. See Bond, tomorrow, Indiana Jones. <laughs> Whoa. Did you just press all of the buttons at once? What was I that? accidentally just uh, triggered the keys by yeah. accident. You so just it. accidentally mashed it with your fist. All right, we're calling Ashton <laughs> from Utah. Ashton is going to make everything right for her camp. Eagle Crew, Claw, Eagle Crew, <laughs> Eagle Crew. <laughs> such a sloppy episode. I can't believe that we've done episodes drunk that are we were more verbally on I know. You. Well, I'm so because I, I want to win. That's what's messing me up. It's killing me. Hello. You come from a backward nation, <laughs> but your question is as follows. <laughs> uh, a conservative filmmaker, James O'Keefe, who posed as a pimp to target the liberal activist group Acorn, was arrested with three other men uh, accused of plotting to tamper with the phone system of a regional office of a U.S. senator who was... That senator, I remind you that the following question is worth a hundred points. Yes, I knew it. Yes. <laughs> Was it Senator Barbara Boxer, Senator Max Backus, Senator Mary Landrieu, or Senator Kent Conrad? Answer within the next four seconds or you'll be shamed. Uh, let's see. Let's go with Kent. Oh, 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 oh. 100 points. Oh, What's the score, chat room? Seventy-four to negative one hundred. Killing me, killing me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, feeling the burn, yeah. Nick Nolte's mug shots. <laughs> you, 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 oh man, I don't want Nick Nolte to win. Camp Eagle Claw has heart. Come on, man. <laughs> We could totally take uh, a down. Camp Eagle Claw may have heart, but Nick Nolte has street smarts and drugs. And a, yeah, a giant bag of pot is what he's got. All right. What are you going to pick? <sighs> oh, I uh, let's go back into uh, female land. <laughs> She's a no girl and a Canuck. She is Amanda D. Uh, and, and I'm seeing she is starred right here, and she's in Canada, and her number is listed right here. I just realized I got a bunch of girls' phone numbers. So, like, you know, hey <laughs> so I could creepily. Could you I imagine actually, being a show host that, like, creepily calls girls afterwards? <laughs> you like, couldn't help but notice your number in my email. I box. actually already won this game because I sold everyone's phone numbers to a telemarketing service about three hours ago. <laughs> You are a girl and Canadian, and I have no other jokes about either of those two attributes. <laughs> uh, you are playing the Rex Ryan question. For those who don't know Rex Ryan, coach of the New York Jets, flipped off a Miami audience today and was fined by the NFL $50,000. Amanda D., you are playing for 50,000 points. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. oh don't my let God. me down, Amanda D. This is huge. All right, go for it. The question is this. Obama gave his first State of the Union last week. Who was the first president to use the term State of the Union? Was it Woodrow Wilson or Franklin Delano Roosevelt? Wait, she only gets two choices? 50-50 for uh, a 50,000. Roosevelt, I guess. Walk off if I wasn't the host. I'm out of here, you freaking Kermit Ooh. dancing. You Kermit Ooh. dancing, Nick Nolte, marijuana having, 
in a mugshot oh, being. Let's not cast judgment. Oh, just if Nick me. Nolte's mugshot were any higher, we'd be arrested twice. Oh my god, <laughs> you guys, you're killing me. You're killing me. That's. <sighs> All right, can I go? Can I go? Is it my turn? Yes. All yes. right, finally. I'm going to make it all right. This is a the one. one. I'm very nervous. I'm going to do... This is a last-minute entry. Uh, oh, but it's a Skype. I want to go by phone number. For some reason, I feel better about people who have phones than has Skype. But we do have... No, that's another one. Here we go. Here we go. Nick F. Redlands, California. West Coast. Southern California. Going to make everything right for Brian somehow. Quick. What? Uh, I just want to point out yes. that uh, I have just read on my large toe on the right foot. Yes. It's a swapsy. <laughs> oh, a swapsy. Uh, oh, no. The English oh. You come from Redlands, California, with the Shirley infested with methamphetamine. But please. Try and concentrate while I read you this question. Which ex-college quarterback sparked debate after CBS said it would air his Super Bowl ad with a conservative Christian group? Was it A, Tim Tebow, or B, Matt Leinart? You know, Brian, you found the perfect person to ask this. I don't watch sports ever, but it's a 50-50, so I'm going to go with A, why not? Oh, it was there gorgeous. We go. it's Fire a on big toe. That's swaps. I think that's the game, unless there's another spoiler. Like, I, as the show was, I'm like, ah, we're just out of time. I'm afraid we can't keep uh. going. <laughs> Brian? Yes. He gets another shot. Okay, all right. right. You select yes. one Hail Mary, you're going to have to make up a deficit of over 50. 50,100 <laughs> 50, points. And this question is worth 10 points. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, well, first of all, I guess are you are you ready? This is. I mean, this probably is going to be very close to for all the mar marbles. I don't know. Yeah. This oh, is I it. know exactly where I'm going too. I'm going with the man who has the best name on this call sheet, Arthur Lysomersky. Lysomersky. Okay, you bet. FTW. You, you're gonna have. You're gonna. Ha you're gonna have to star him because I have no idea where he is in this thing. You don't give that he kind done, of name. He done done got starred. <laughs> Is he on the front Dun page? Yeah. Okay, By the way, uh, uh, right. Brett, uh, I don't know exactly what kind of point value this is going to work out to, but this is uh -huh. the final Hail Mary, uh, the deficit reduction question. The deficit reduction question. <laughs> Got it. Okay, well, look, this is Arthur from Rutherford, New Jersey, and <clears throat> he should be on the line here shortly. Take it away, Hitler. <laughs> this is for the whole game now. I can't believe it. They want us to call Hello? Kuhin. The English Tigers want to quiz. Arthur from New Jersey, there is no time for petty quips. I, a I ask you the question, but please be mindful that this is the deficit reduction question, meaning it is worth the value of our federal deficit. Oh, my God. $1.267 <laughs> trillion. Dollars. Oh, my God. Therefore, 1.267 trillion points <laughs> will be on your answer. <laughs> 13 <laughs> rail corridors in 31 states received how much money in grants from the White House for a high-speed train <laughs> project? Was it $8 billion? Or a hundred billion. Oh, I actually know this one. Quickly, quickly. 80 billion. First one, A. Oh, oh, wait. He said 80 billion. The first one, A. But the. What? 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 Oh, I hate you, Brett Rasmussen. Oh. Oh. And that's how it ends, folks. 1.267 oh. trillion to something like else. Like five. I got 50, like 50,000. 50,000. 50,000. 50,
Oh, oh man. Cheering oh. For the, can we do a tiebreaker and call Kuhan or something? This is killing me. This oh, is awesome. Awesome. Brian, that Brian. Was awesome. As 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 it says on my taint, you'll live to fight another day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, You're killing me! I can't believe you trounced uh, me so hard. I just wish we had a board that just like had digits that <laughs> that had thirty five digits out. Uh, to the Brian, side. there what? is one. It's in New York City, and it constantly <laughs> runs up. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if somebody can send me a link to that to that video. We'll throw it on there. That's our your current point value. Oh, it's killing me. <laughs> All right, look, uh, 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 should I just go watch Lost now? Can I just go? I mean, I, it just ended. I'm sure the big final reveal just happened. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. We're getting one final Lost spoiler. Well, that's really convenient. That's awesome. Augie, uh, Augie Incredible. Oh, my God. This is, wow, this is a big one, folks. Uh, apparently, the end of the pilot for the uh, sixth and final season of Lost the Losties discover a second nuclear bomb called Mr. Weatherby. They then take turns making out on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much the, better than watching the big Lost. Final spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, look, Brett. I, for one, am tired of you teasing your crazy shenanigan. Can we can we freaking put the word out on this? You've been working. The Amtrekker project was how long? How long was Amt the Amtrekker project? 479 days. Really? You actually know it down to the days. How come you didn't have yeah. an Amtrekker question that was worth 497 points, Justin? Because I don't really care much about other people. Hey! <laughs> All right. And well, so what? What is this new thing? This new thing sounds huge. You tease it all the time. Uh, something new? Yeah, you that so I'm doing. Yeah, you're doing something new. Uh, I am really excited about it, but I, uh, it's probably. All right, I'm gonna give something away, but I'm probably giving away way, way too much. All right. So literally, guys, do not spread the word on this. No joke. NSF, NSFW exclusive. <laughs> Please do not spread the word on this, but the Twitter account is twitter.com slash G-E-I-T-W. There you go. Everyone spread the word, G-E-I-T-W. And this no, is No, do not spread the word. No, this yes, is not everyone, one of those moments. <laughs> this is uh, <laughs> I, I think uh, I think we're gonna spread the word. It's G-E-I-T-W. <laughs> no, 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 no. G don't spread the word. Right. Don't, don't, yeah, but you're taking off the glasses, which right. means it's the opposite, right? So, yeah, no, no. so spread the word. No, I don't know the hand signals to make, to make you not spread the word. G-E-I-T-W, and, uh, well, this is interesting. Hang on. Here's G-E-I-T-W. Do you have something to do with this Twitter? I guess. Wait, name, Brett uh, Rounsevel. I, I gave you all I can give. All name I can Brett give Rounsevel. right now. There's 13 well, It actually looks like, like the G-E are proper nouns, while the I-T are not, because that is not capital. Oh, so, you, oh, so you're saying like maybe this is an abbreviation for something. G-E-I-T-W. I mean, like the, mm. I, I haven't heard anybody mm. named Gitsi since my grandma. So, <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Yeah, that's I don't know. I'm sure Again, the, Guys, it's not done yet. All right, don't no. spread the word on this. Uh, hey, hey, not done. Hang on, don't make me mute here, Brett. Uh, let's see. G E I T W, the grandest eavesdropping idiot. The win. I don't. Uh, I got nothing. Idi I got idiot. nothing. Idiot, the win. How'd you get it so quickly? <laughs> oh, <it's> Neil Leiter. <laughs> <laughs> well, inter oh wow, there's already theories, a buzz in the chat room. I, I kind of, I, I, I don't want to cut over because some of them looks like that. Brett is hosting the Tonight Show. Is one of the theories? Which Confirm or deny? I want to get this to Nikki Finky. <laughs> What's that? Confirm or deny, Brett? Are you hosting the Tonight Show? <laughs> Giant uh, envelope. I'm on the same page of Mr. Jobs book and deny everything. General Electric is the win. I think that's definitely an NBC centric code right there. Get everyone mm -hmm. in the world. This is, oh, I think this is, all right, this will be interesting to see what we got here. Uh, look, can we just, uh, I don't know, uh, we, we got a couple of minutes here. We're running, we, we finished up the first bit a little bit early. Um, there was, uh, I, I don't know, there's a couple of things, real things going on in life, but I don't know if we have time to talk about any of them. And one of them I'm under contract not to, uh, not to talk about. Oh, I'm I'm not under contract to talk about my brand new characters on the show, right? Oh, oh, were well you? Yeah, we were thinking. Well, we were thinking about doing a totally unrelated bit to anything going on in my life, right? Yeah, 
We yeah. were thinking about um, doing a new, like a themed episode where a bunch of you guys would Skype in and present some kind of skill you have, maybe uh, an entertaining skill, and that uh, Justin would respond in one of three wild characters. We wanted to show how talented the internet is. We were thinking about calling it the internet is very talented was going to be the name of the episode. And then yeah. you would come on. In, independently, I've been working, you know, I've just been workshopping, spitballing, you know, just throwing stuff against the wall, seeing right. what sticks character wise. And uh, I came up with three that I wanted to use on, on this particular. Oh, well, let's let's show people what 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 it might look like, what an episode might look like. So so, Brett, if you don't mind, you'll be the host and you'll say up oh, first, we got Brian Brushwood and you'll ask me what my talent mm -hmm. is going to be. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> OK. Up first, we have Brian Brushwood. I'm going to ask what your talents is going to be. <clears throat> uh, my name is Brian Brushwood, and I could take a drink from this green cup. Here we go. So now Brian is actually taking a drink from the cup. Right. Now, I would respond in as character. one of my three characters in succession, the first being a judgmental British guy. Okay. Uh, and that would go something <laughs> like, like this. Brian, I, I, I just don't get it. I, I don't understand. Why would you even come on here doing something so stupid? I, I, I mean, I just, I thought it was a good trick. I drank. That I drank. would actually be succeeded by my next character, Screechy British Woman. Right. Which is uh, goes a little something like, right. Brian, I loved it. I thought it was just great. You really have something. Right. Uh, and then, do you have a third character? What's your third character? Yeah, list? and then the third character would be um, uh, 80s uh, throwback Kit from Night Rider. 80s throwback germaphobe. Okay, what, yeah. does, what does he sound like? And he would sound like, even with two shows, I'm irrelevant. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, those would be the three characters that I've been oh. working on. So maybe we'll do it at, at a later date. All right. So the important thing is that we're going to need you guys. I, I say we go ahead and do this. You guys want to do a talent show next time? Uh, well, I'll put it to the chat room. Right now, we're going to go ahead and call a, a brief. Uh, what do we We got? A pull, uh oh, we got Robo Tracker in the wings. Uh, chat room, you guys want to do a, a, a uh, talent show next time? They say yes. They seem to like that idea. Robo Trekker, you need to, you got to clear your robo throat and make that fix. They say yes. They definitely want to do that. They definitely want to do that. Okay. I did not clear my throat yet. No, you did. You're, you're all good. All right. So this is it, man. Until we find out exactly what G E I T W, okay. get what, what, until we find out what get what stands for, I guess you can get the hell off my stage, Mr. <laughs> Mr. $1.4 trillion. Mm -hmm. Oh, I hate you so much, Amtrekker. No, <laughs> it is audio. Let me growl, and, growl, yeah, growl this is all like a winner should. <laughs> I like. I Thank like, you, Mugshotians. Mugshotians. All right. Big thanks to Mig Nick Nolte's mugshot, and of course, we here at Camp Eagle Claw uh, gracefully admit that you are our victors. And uh, Justin, you got a thing you want to pimp before we roll things out here? Uh, yeah, uh, of course, Justin R. Young on Twitter. Um, then also, uh, yeah, of course, iTricks, if you want all the magic news that you'd ever want, uh, weirdthings.com. We're going to have a new Weird Things podcast. Hopefully, we'll be recording soon. We just released one last week. And hey, let me tell you, Everybody dude, seems to like. By the way, the, the Weird Things stuff is really hitting its stride. I mean, every episode is knocking it out of the park. And if you come in at the end, it's worth it going back and listening to the old episodes. It's up on iTunes. Uh, Weird Things is a blast, and it's, and it's sheer agony for me. Like, like. I hate it. I hate you specifically. Actually, I hate Andrew Maine specifically. Andrew, Andrew is really your tormentor. I, I am just kind of the uh, the impish foil. Yeah, who, that, that dances uh, around insults. cackling at me as as it happens. Brett, everyone could go to Amtrucker.com and I suppose some other website. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Yeah, all right, yes. sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. Wait, I'm sorry. Wait, you had one more thing. What was that? Yeah, yeah. yeah uh, for those of you who like the weirdest thing in the world, live chat. We may have some developing uh, situation there. So please uh, subscribe to the Weird Things Com Twitter and uh, you'll be there to know uh, what we're doing. But a live chat is coming back to Weird Things. Yeah, goodness knows. Goodness knows if you're already following Justin Robert Young, you'll never hear about it unless you also subscribe to Weird Things Com on Twitter. <laughs> well, yeah, we got a lot of stuff there. You know, we have all the, all the posts that go up every single day. I mean, if you like the Weird Things podcast, you're going to love weirdthings.com. Uh, By the way, this just in one final law spoiler from the chat room, Snape kills Saeed. That happens very last minute. Uh, what else? What else you got, <laughs> Brett? 
around Seville? Um, yeah, amtrekker.com. There's uh, new stuff going up there pretty soon. And uh, at amtrekker is the Twitter that will and will forever be Brett. All right. Hey, so, uh, from the chat room, uh, by the way, a lot of people are suggesting some celebrities way more famous than us to have on the show. We love this idea. People are saying the giant bomb cast guys, uh, send them on over. Uh, Charlie Day from uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I noticed some people were sending tweets over to Kevin Smith asking if he had been approached to be on the show yet. That's exactly the kind of thing we need to get big time celebrities here on the show. We've done it with Greg Grunberg. We're doing it with other people. That sounded gross. Uh, we want to do it with <laughs> Pee Wee Herman, uh, but <laughs> it's going to take you guys to make it happen. And until then, don't forget, I'm at uh, schwood.com. You can follow me on Twitter at schwood. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye -bye, see, see you next Tuesday. I screwed up the line. You can't say, what I'll is see wrong you. with your face? You can't say, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. That's see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs>